Hey there, and welcome to another Planet Coaster 2 video. In today's video, we're going to have a quick look at a graphics comparison, and after that, we're going to look at a couple of new clips that Frontier have released in the last couple days, so enjoy this video. All right, let's start with the graphics comparison in the first picture. First of all, uh, here you can see the image from Planet Coaster 2, and now I'm gonna blend over again into Planet Zoo. So you can tell, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side in a second, um, you can tell that this is a lot different. So first things first, obviously I know that this is a huge, huge difference. I try to be at the same time of day, as you can see we are at 12.24, and seemingly this seems to be a different area because the shadows are a lot longer in the version um, of Planet uh, Coaster. I was trying to mimic the same kind of lighting with the shadows and trying to do different things, but there's so much you can already tell, like from the how the way the water looks, the way how the plants look, obviously, the way how the shadow in general casts, specifically also in the plants area, like the palm trees for example. But you can also see differences in, in the shadow itself, like uh, in Planet Coaster 2 the shadow um, really has some very different elements, um, different shading and so on, indirect lighting, uh, very subtle shadows to the sides, but in this game it all looks a lot more flat and a lot more um, forced in, in one direction, but like this is the way how global illumination and ray tracing also affects the game, not only in dark areas, but it does also so um, in, in bright light, obviously, because it has a lot of different um, possibilities to, to make areas uh, that are not even in full sunlight uh, brighter or darker, depending on where the, the light actually comes from. And in this game, uh, since this is not in place, we obviously have a way more forced look, which uh, still is a very, very pretty looking game, don't get me wrong. But specifically, when you look at some of the plants and so on, you can see that in this game, even though the anti aliasing and so on is a lot better. So as soon as I zoom out, and this is obviously something to do with the LODs, uh, which for those of you who don't know is the level of detail, um, it seems to change. Um, I'm also not sure if the field of view is the same. Again, it is a very, very bare comparison. It, it's not really super fair because there's so much that plays into into it. Um, however, I think it gives you a good a good idea of why I think that this new game is actually again a very good leap forward. Um, so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to zoom in a bit here into the into the scene because I have the feeling. Oops, uh, the camera in uh, Planet Coaster 2 seems to be a little bit of a different uh, field of view in in the first look. So this is more like it. This is more like the shot we would have, I guess. So something like this, I guess, would would make it work. I don't know. It, it's a little bit different, you know what I mean? And uh, so I was trying to mimic, but you can also see in on the ground textures and so on, there is a difference. And obviously, I can't really tell too much about the stones because they're not the same rocks. It's the Mediterranean rocks. These are not. Uh, but it just should give you a very quick overview. Now, um, let's go to the next scene to give you a bit of an idea how that one looks. I'm just going to fly over here to the next scene. This is the one I built. And uh, if we compare that to the other one, one, which I'm gonna put, whoops, uh, I'm just gonna move into position, and I'm gonna put it on screen right now, uh, and in this one we're gonna make a side-by-side -side comparison, so I'm gonna just zoom over here, so we do have that, and I'm gonna put the other one onto the right-hand side, so you have them really now side-by-side, -side, which will hopefully help you uh, understand a bit more what I was talking about. So, um, obviously, there are so many things I could point out right now, but again, I want to re- uh, just just reframe it and give you a bit of a context. This is not a fair comparison because it's not the same pieces and because it's not exactly the same lighting. Uh, I could again try to find the correct lighting that this would be, so maybe like a brighter time of day, but I still feel like you can see a lot. You can see how the shadows in the details of our um, like marble pieces and so on come in shining. You can see the difference, even in this shot, you can see the difference in uh, the foliage pieces, specifically when you look at this one over here, and then if you compare that to the Planko shot where you can see even in the further distance more detail in the leaves and so on, um, you can see a way better shading on the different elements, like the different materials, you can see that the lighting in general, obviously, because of ray tracing, looks a lot better. Um, however, I do know that a lot of people do prefer this more realistic, toned down look of Planet Zoo, which I do as well. Like, if you ask me only about that, I would also say take out a little bit of the saturation and the, uh, yeah, I don't know, contrast in 
uh, Planet Cursor 2. But I really want to quickly say in this shot over here, I don't mind it that much in the um, in the methodology one because it really looks uh, fitting to the style. But even if you would tone that down, the improvements in overall lighting and in overall detail in the pieces is very visible, if you ask me. If you still don't see it, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I just wanted to quickly do a real comparison of both games. Obviously, it's all set to the highest graphics. Let me just quickly show to you um, just to prove that everything is on the absolute highest. So uh, making sure that everything is on whatever goes to the highest. I mean, I can also put everything on ultra. So you see uh, that there is no real difference in here. Nothing that I have actually done. Um, so just to reconfirm that this is the case and uh, so, but people not accusing me of, of using the wrong graphics. I, I, Actually, I don't want to make any game look better than the other. I just think like it's fair to compare both games side by side and you can really tell the difference. I'm going to go and de-able the... Uh, de-able. <laughs> Disable the hut over here. Um, and yeah, you can also see in the fabric, there's a tiny bit more good look, like the shadows and so on seem to be a tiny bit more accurate to what you would expect them to look like. Uh, and yet again, as I said, all the shadows look more accurately like a shadow would look like because of ray tracing. Um, but also the how the sunlight goes onto the trees. Maybe this is what people say or see when they say it's a bit more upsetting in this game, a bit more too bright, I don't know. Um, and uh, effectively, we have to see that all in-game because, well, if you see that in-game, you can really only tell. Well, that's basically it. Uh, I don't want to talk more about this. This is the two scenes I built. Um, I had them side by side, as I was promising. Um, let me just do that with this area again just to put them both in. I don't know what the better way was going to be. I'm just going to try to do this side by side so we can have a bit of a look into both. Here you go. Like, it's not fair. As I said, it's not fair. Also, let's enable the uh, HUD over here because the other shot had uh, HUD 2, whatever. Um, yeah, but let's move over to all the clips I was promising at the beginning and have a look at what they offered. Also, one last thing before I forget. Um, there are obviously filters in the game I already tried. So just to give you a little idea, this is how it looks if you put that to Tropical Lush or to Desert Warm or to Tiger Breeze or to all the other things. So just to show you that this is not a thing of the shader or the filter applied to the game. Uh, so actually that one, ooh, that looks very cool. Um, it, it doesn't really help. Uh, actually, it does the opposite in my opinion. So if you disable, the game looks definitely better without the filter. But just to give you an idea what happens with Planet Zoo, if you make it more poppy and more colorful, this is what it looks like. And I'm not necessarily sure if that's a good thing. Um, it really shows that the new game seems to be more optimized for what this game looks like because this would be potentially the best kind of representation of the poppiness and uh, the colors of the new game and now compare that uh, with the screens and so on we've seen previously it really doesn't put the game in best light and also to be fair and because I you know the lady designer and I were talking also with even and they had a fair point to say it's not like because I said just we just wait until we put reshade on Planet Coaster 2 it's gonna look so much more realistic that's true but it's also just fair to assume that the game needs to look good out of the box and this is why I did this comparison without any reshade or any any attempt to make it look the same way. Also, did I keep the filter on? It just looks so... Okay, I don't know. For now, <laughs> it all of a sudden looks uh, so, so, I don't know, less saturated, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's move on now finally to the clips. And we are starting with what uh, most people will not really like to see and talk about, but this over here is a uh, drop tower, and the problem about this one uh, like the freefall tower is it seemingly it's not going to be adjustable i have put this one down when i was building in my playtest session and it wasn't adjustable that doesn't necessarily mean it won't be at all maybe the function wasn't activated but even though i am very positive towards this uh with like what i've said about stations and so on I really have the feeling this isn't going to be the case. Um, I was trying to figure out a couple of things on these shots. Uh, if I can see anything about the stations. This station seemingly from over here looks a little bit more tiny. But you know, as I can't really zoom in and the quality is super bad. It's just like a, just a maybe. Um, this is a park I haven't seen so far. It could be the park they've shown in the trailer, I guess. But not really seen that one. Also in the back over here, this could be the Viking theme they have done. Uh, for for the Viking trailer, I really like this park. Honestly, it, it looks really cool. Um, 
but there's really not that, that much to talk about like let's just quickly zoom in maybe i've missed something but like uh, what i really love about this video is the detail on on and the focus on the people and the game's look itself just in general you can spot so many of the, the slides in the background and how the style works like with this kind of almost newport bay looking lighthouse there and the rest looks very koali ish even though the the yellow is a lot more too yellow and not beige enough whatever down here you've got a better beige tone this is like very yellowish but it just might be scale but also it confirms that we can recall Setch, which which is great which hasn't always been the case so um it, there's a lot of info in this video guys um that is very interesting for the nerds and you know if you've been around for a while you know exactly why i point out these things if you're not just be aware of the fact that there are a lot of things we've come a long way with this game okay we've come a long way and there are a lot of things that weren't given uh, at a certain point and I'm really happy to see all these things confirmed or reconfirmed uh, from Planet Zoo, for example. In here, I love the detail of the ride. I love the detail of the people, as I said. Like, look at the, look at the glasses. Look at the uh, the necklace over here, and also an arm wrist, like a like a lot. And also, I like these, um, you know, Adidas uh, slippers. I should say, uh, really nice touch over here. They don't really give a um, about brands, as it seems. <laughs> Just really love that, love this way of doing it. Um, and the animation of the people, they've talked about that, never really showed too much about the people. But we'll have a different example in a second. Um, they seem to have worked on the people's animations quite a lot. As I've already confirmed, um, they will not be physically accurated, uh, accurate in this game. So they don't really have a physics engine, but the animation is really dramatically overhauled. And after seeing this video, uh, I can totally relate to, to what they said. Um, I totally dig that. It's, it's a lot, like not only this video, the, the other one will be even greater. And um, yeah, you can really see that, like also wearing like a little watch over here, really love seeing that and uh the different styles they have the different facial expressions uh big fan of that big 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 fan and uh let's continue watching the other one i'm just gonna quickly open them after each other which is another one of these awkward little blueprint showcases many people have pointed that already out in the uh in the comments on Twitter and so on, and I just still don't know why Frontier is going to put these blueprints as a as a video out. It's, I, I, they have so much content to show. Why would you show off these like a, a, at most decent rides, and some of which are not really insanely decent? I, it's you know I'm not a coaster perfectionist here. I'm not really that great at coaster, but even I see that they're all not great. They're good to have a good start with, and you know good to have some. But why would you showcase this? Anyways, there's still something in here I want to quickly talk about, but I'm. I'm so confused to why they post this. Like, I, I get it. They want to go into shorts. And I know that this seems to run very well to spread out your content on different uh, sources and so on. Noise, I like that. But, like, why the heck? I mean, at least show that with people. Would that be asked too much? I don't know. And then, you know, if we have that one, we've got a fact file over here, which is nice, I guess. You know, excitement, fear, no nausea. I, you know. But what's the point? Like, we know coasters are smooth. We can actually keep that running for a sec. I don't even need to talk that much about it. I will, I will pause this before the end. Um, so, so yeah, we, we, we see the coaster is a lot more smooth. This is what we wanted to see. It is all great. We can see our blueprint. We can see the off-right camera seems to be decent as well. What I want to point out is this map over here. Um, that's what I saw in this video very nicely. Um, this map seems to be a, I don't know, maybe North American temperate one. Uh, you know, judging from the trees, maybe could very well to be European, but uh, I don't know, or maybe Asian. I'm just like I would say North American. Um, also from the ground textures and stuff. Uh, really like that biome. And to see it's a very flat ground, like the, not really rocky or anything. Uh, so that is good to see. Uh, but other than that, there is really not that much to see in this video. I always want to see if there's anything about the station. Um, I like this railing on this um, particular queue line over here, as you can see. Uh, I am a big fan of that one. We can see the station isn't really changed. Always try to, you know, find a little detail. But there is not really a detail to see which is a sad one. Uh, also going around, we can have a little more look at this railing. Uh, actually, this seems to be like a bit of a different railing here. Uh, but I uh, I do like this. <laughs> you know, having these subtle inclines. I like the footers of the, uh, the supports of the path a lot more. Looks good. And we've seen the Viking theme, so we don't really need to go crazy about this one. So that's what we've seen. And yeah, there's unfortunately yet again nothing about the stations, which uh, I was hoping to see. But I want to use this video real quick, and this is a good shot actually to, to keep on talking about this. Um, people have been asking so much why the stations are such a big deal and why everyone is talking about this. I think Frontier has listened to 
almost every single thing we've been talking about in the past and have at least tried to do something or actually uh, knocked it out of the park. But like the one thing that everyone has been talking about from day one has been the stations uh, because it's not only they are big and like weird, um, they are super customizable, don't get me wrong. It's like actually just like a platform. But the problem is they don't act as what they should be. We don't have a dual station. We don't have a separate load and unload station. This is a very problematic uh, thing because that's a huge part of realistic coaster building uh, in the real world and a part of management as well. So that that is odd to see, but um, I don't want to spend too much on this because we've already talked a lot about this. Yeah, very much unfortunate that we can't see anything else. And you know, the model is the model is what it is. You know, very nice to see. Um, have it on screen, like it's good. But let's move on to the last video, which is the one that gave me a bit of a, a flashback because they've done a video on that in Planet Coaster One as well. Just gonna keep that running. Um, it's a very nice little thing uh, to see that they have it in again. Uh, a, a fan favorite, I should say, from Roller Coaster Tycoon, making it all the way back into Planet Coaster 2 as well as it was in. And there you can see, using the coaster as a cannonball to cannonball your people into midair. I, a certain Josh from, uh, you know, Let's Game It Out will be very happy seeing this, I assume. Um, maybe he's gasping. Maybe maybe, maybe he's just sitting there and, and waiting impatiently to play the game. I don't know. But uh, here we go and see this. Also in this video, there were like a little touch in there which I really love. Also, I'm, I'm liking the fact how they uh, changed the color, uh, the, the color, the, the, the body position. Uh, this is seemingly in the park that we've seen already in some of the deep dives. But what I found very nice is the scaffolding over here. And also the difference in size of these two scaffolding seems, again, a little bit of a showcase of, of what is possible with the scaling, which is ridiculous. And also lo both looking very, uh, very solid and very nice. And there was another little touch I really loved. Like, it's just a tiny detail, but look at this little planet coaster icon thingy, um, reminiscent planet as a, what is that even, top ball on on the fence. Really am a big fan of these little subtle touches. And um, yeah, but other than that, I did not really catch anything in particular that could be interesting in that video. I just wanted to quickly show it to you. Um, and if if you still haven't seen where all these videos come, you have to really follow them on all the socials. Sometimes they just post something on Instagram, then again on TikTok, and sometimes on Twitter. It's just like, I, I guess they want you to follow them everywhere, and then they just put that out like this. So yeah, I'm just checking all these channel, channels a couple times a day, and then just to see if there's anything uh, special in there. But uh, seemingly, this time around, there wasn't too much. So, that's been it with my update video. I really hope it was actually a bit enlightening for you uh, regarding the graphics and also interesting to see what they've put out so far. Unfortunately, not really much news value in here apart from some tiny, tiny ones. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I talk to you next one. Also, a little teaser here. I will be revealing my Planet Coaster 2 main park project this weekend. So keep an eye on the channel. It's going to be on the channel. I'm not going to reveal the theme of it, but I'm going to reveal a little concept art. Um, so if you're keen on that, make sure to watch it. And if you want to do me a favor, not the usual one, uh, when you click on like and subscribe and so on, uh, please check out my latest Timberborn video because then you can make fun of me. If you want to make fun of me, this is the video to go to and also help me support this game a little, give it a bit of love because it's actually a pretty good update. Uh, so have a go on that one. Um, that would help me out and also will give you a very good reason to laugh about me. Trust me, it's going to be fun. So have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thank you so much as always and goodbye.